Hey guys, this is um, Odia's Samurai 6. Um, I'm mainly doing this video to help out new Teddy Era, but this should help you guys out too, and I hope it does. So, new Teddy Era. This first part is going to be mainly for new Teddy Era, so I hope you're watching this right now, and I hope it helps. Now, New Teddy Era has been kind of thinking about what he wants to take to regionals and if he could get any help with it. I hope this helps because I'm mainly dedicating this to you. Now, as you said in your videos, you're thinking about either using Dark Worlds. I don't have any better Dark World cards than that. <laughs> Gladiator Beasts. Or Agents. Now. Why? Er, lately you've kind of been on the side of um, Dark Worlds. Although, honestly, in all opinion, I say Agents. Why? Because Dark Worlds get crammed by Macrocosmos and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. They just get absolutely creamed. I mean, sure, you can still bring back your Grapha, but if they got something to kill it, then <laughs> you're dead. And also, if they get rid of all three of your Graphas, you can just tell your opponent good game. Gladiator Beasts. You don't play very many monsters, and War Chariot is just awesome, but it can be a dead draw. And if they kill Bestiari, then it's going to be a pretty awkward situation because... And, and by kill, I mean not have any way to get him back. And it's going to be pretty awkward because you can't bring out your main destruction guy. And sometimes you can just draw horribly. And, you know, you can pull off your amazing combos with this. But, but, um, if... If you just start getting creamed and they get out a beat stick or an Arch Lord Christie or a Stardust Dragon, then you're doomed. <laughs> you're doomed. Now, why do I think agents would be the best thing for you to do? Now, a lot, there's not many things people will play or have in their side deck against agents. And there's not much they can side against you. I mean, Macrocosmos, but all this really hurts is Master Hyperion. You still got all your other good plays. <laughs> um, Light Imprisoning Mirror. Oh, hey, guess what? Uh, in my version, Lights isn't the only play thing I play. So I'll still have my Darks and all my other stuff. Shadow and Prisoning Mirror, opposite. Also, of lights. And that's just in general. Like, people won't have much stuff against you, New Teddy Air. I mean, they can side these in, but you'll still go through unless you're just absolutely in a bad situation, which, frankly, I never find myself in that kind of spot. Now, there's a bunch of other big decks, like Dino Rabbits, Geargia, Mermails, Insectors, and Windups. Why don't I use any of these? Well, Dino Rabbits, everybody sides cards against these. Seriously, I cannot stand this deck, so I wouldn't play it anyways. Gyrgia, it has strengths and weaknesses. Your opponent gets out Spirit Reaper and... Oh, crap. <laughs> I mean, sure, they can get out that, uh... Papal Operative and that'll kill Spirit Reaper, but... What if they don't have things to get it out? What if they have two or something? Why well, don't play Mer Mermel? It's expensive as crap, and you even talked about why not to play it. Now, this isn't just for new Teddy Air. It's mainly for him, but I hope this helps other guys out, too. 
Why well, don't play in Zectors? Her opponent knows what to do against it, like, seriously. <laughs> They're not going to attack into your stuff. They're just going to make it so you can do other stuff. Why don't play wind-ups? Well, they can go through the hand so fast, and I've learned to just bluff bluff these guys so easily. I mean, come on, seriously. And if they, they, they can go through their decks so, so fast. So that is why I don't play these decks, and why for regionals I was planning on using agents. Now, let me explain why I play some things and don't play others. Okay. Now, to new Teddy here. I saw you playing two Pot of Dualities. Pot of Duality. You know, on the off chance, you think, wow, this is an amazing card. But try not playing any of these, and you'll find out why it's <laughs> not a good card for the deck. The only time you can honestly play this is when you draw Earth or set a sand gun. That's it. Like, seriously, that's it. And you really, really don't even need this card. I mean, it can help in some decks, but, you know, I've been trying with it and trying without it. And frankly, the build that didn't have it is ten times better. And a good reason is because I didn't play this. Okay. Now, that's just Venus, but I'm just showing you why I play Birdman. Because he has crazy, crazy combos with Venus and Torgai. Birdman, he's just awesome. <laughs> I mean, sure, he can be a dead draw, but almost never. Like, seriously. Now. Why I play trap cards, but not very many. You want to keep your stuff safe, but you don't want to just keep dead drawing it, and dead drawing it, and dead drawing it. You know? And... I want my opponent's MSTs and Heavy Storms to be absolutely useless. Like, you know, um, Winston, or I think that's his name, the one guy, he didn't play any traps except for that one. Frankly, it's his decision, and this is my decision. I don't copy people's decks because... Usually not the same as my playstyle, and probably isn't going to be the same for your guys's. So, in my opinion, you should play some, but not a lot. Now, New Teddy Era, you played a bunch. Or, not a bunch, but, you know, too much for agents to run, honestly. Now, you know, you say you want defense, you want defense, you want defense. But... You want offense more than defense. So, which one would you rather have, the defense or the offense? Now, you want defense. So, I got these, and another defense I got. Two Herald of Orange Light. Two Effect Veiler. Two Traguidia. Gores. And Oz. Eight hand traps. I think that's enough defense. And it makes my opponent's MSTs worthless. So, that's why I do that. Now, I see some people playing Card Trooper. Why do I not play this? I side deck Raikou, because that honestly can help a little bit, and... For the main part, because I don't have Snowman either. <laughs> but I probably would play Raikou anyways. Because it can blow up a field and it gives you a light for BLS or Chaos Sorcerer. Which is nice. Card Trooper, on the other hand, it doesn't do much for agents. It really doesn't. I mean, congratulations to the one guy that talked with this deck, but I don't really think... 
you know, it's his play style, it's his deck, like, it'll work for him, obviously it did, but that doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Same with Call of the Haunted, I mean, I've tried it out, you don't really need it. And, <laughs> now, why I don't need too much protection stuff, because I play three MSTs, Heavy Storm, and Forbidden Lands. I'm pretty good protected, plus I have those few trap cards, plus I have... Um, eight hand traps. <laughs> so, I'm pretty good protected right there. So, so far I've gone through how much protection? <laughs> I don't have to deal much with stuff. A good reason to not play Pot of Duality again is because Thunder King Raya is a pretty good card. Sometimes you will dead draw, but that happens in every deck. Thunder King Ryo is pretty good to sit on. Now, for the last factor of why I don't play these, this one should be pretty obvious. Why I don't play Solemn Morning or Solemn Judgment. I have seen a lot of people play this. Seriously, guys, it's not that good. I mean... It's awesome, a nice six samurai deck. I love it. I play so many traps, which that's why Royal Decree hurts me. <laughs> um, but you're already paying a lot of life points from Venus, probably taking life points because of Earth, and sometimes your protection goes through. You gotta wait till you take damage to summon Gores and Tragoidia. So. If you add it all together, you're already taking a bunch of damage. You don't want to take any more. So, that's what I play what I play in. I found this to be possibly the best deck I've ever made. Now, I have my complete deck profile on a little earlier video. I think it says, Agent Deck December V4, that means version 4. It's the best deck, probably the best deck I've ever made. I was about to take it to regionals, but lost my ride. Boo-hoo. But whatever. Um, so, new Teddy Air. You've been thinking about three decks. This is why I suggest Agents. Hope this helps. It's up to your decision. But I wanted to give you help because when I was going to my first regionals, I was extremely stressed out. And I just wanted to help you out, and I hope this helped. So, and it's up to your decision. I'm just showing you why I think you should use agents instead. And I hope this helped other people as well.